Hey guys and welcome back to German Arts. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a flag in After Effects. But first, run titles. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've created a castle asset over an illustrator. In the middle of the castle, you will see there's a flagpole with a missing flag, which is what we're going to be creating today. So the first thing you want to do before you animate the flag is create the flag. Now you can do this however you want. You can create it in After Effects itself or download something off Google. I personally have already created a flag over in Illustrator. So let's go take a look. This is going to be the flag I'll be animating today over in After Effects. Now the reason I wanted to show you this asset first is there's something we need to do to it. Once you've decided what flag you're going to be animating, you need to make sure that whatever edge is attached to the flagpole needs to be touching the corresponding edge of your artboard or comp. If your asset takes up the entire frame, then this is something you won't have to do. But if your asset doesn't, like mine, then you're going to have to realign it. For me, I'm just going to use the alignment tool and align it to the left edge. Then we can go back over to After Effects and animate. To animate this, we only need to add one effect. Head over to the effects and presets and type in Wave Warp. Now, Wave Warp is a great effect for creating movement on liquid or cloth, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So once we've applied the effect, you can see straight away it's got loads more movement to it. But there's a few settings we want to go ahead and tweak. The first things we want to change is the width and the height. This depends on how exactly you want it to look, but I'm going to go ahead and change mine to 10 and 140. Next, we want to adjust the speed. Again, it will depend on how vigorous you want the flag's movement. I'm going to be keeping mine at one today as I'm not trying to match any sort of wind speed and I think it looks all right. With those settings applied, what we have is a flappy wavy flag. But there's one more thing we want to do. Remember when I was saying we want to make sure one of the sides is touching the edge? Well, we did this because we want to go ahead and pin one of our sides. Head down to the pinning option and in the drop down menu, go ahead and select whichever edge yours is touching. Now, if we press play and watch back our footage, you'll see that there's now more motion on the right side than the left. Now, the only thing left to do is place it on our castle and see what it looks like. And there you go. That's how to make a flag in After Effects, a super simple effect that adds a little bit of motion to your animation. Remember, if you have any questions or requests, be sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.